Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anastasia and welcome to a closet clean out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not that excited for this video. I don't really like doing closet clean outs. They just take ages and I feel like I start off really motivated and then I get halfway through and I'm like... I'm wearing my Taylor Swift Eras Tour crew neck because it's been too hot since the Eras Tour to wear it. But today's the first day it's raining, so I was like, immediately, I'm gonna put this on and feel cozy. So the goal for today's video is to go through my closet, my handbags, my tote bags, and maybe my shoes. And then if I feel up to it, I'll go through like my books and accessories and stuff, but I have a feeling we won't get that far. I could just keep talking and avoid starting, but I think it's just best if we start. So let's, let's get into it. Just a brief interruption from editing me, but if you see an asterisk on anything that I'm showing you, it's something that I decided to get rid of. So just keep that in mind. So this is my closet. These doors are really annoying. It only opens about halfway and then you have to slide both of them to get to the other side. I think we'll just have to tackle one side at a time. I think I'm gonna start with shirts. I love a piece of merch. I love a graphic tee. I love a band tee. I feel like I always buy band t-shirts and graphic tees when I go to gigs and I bring them home and then I'm like, I have no other tops other than band tees. So we need to have a little look and see what there is in here. I have a, I have a, I have a hard time getting rid of stuff, you will see. I have a very weird attachment to things, but let's just start. I think my goal will be to get a pile of stuff to keep, stuff to sell on Vinted and then stuff to donate and then if there's stuff that's just like really worn and tatty and whatever I'll just chuck. These are just a pair of anti-chafing shorts which I will keep because it's summer. <laughs> this is just from Primark but it has these little tomatoes on it and I just think that's really cute so I'm gonna keep that. This is also from Primark but this is a cute little summery top with little bows on so I'm gonna keep that as well. This has the Powerpuff Girls on it which I think is actually quite cute but I don't think I'm gonna wear it so I'm gonna put in the get rid of pile. This is a really nice knit Zara top. Um, I've only worn this a few times really but I also think I might get rid of this because I don't really wear it that often. I quite like this shirt actually. This is an old Zara t-shirt and I stitched this little save the drama for your mama lip design which Rachel wore in Friends and then Harry Styles wore so I will keep that. This is very old. This is a t-shirt from Mr. Saturday. I do really like it so I think I'm gonna keep this. Here we start getting into the band tees. This is the 1975. They had official merch, which was nice, but it was really expensive. And then as I was leaving, they had like those guys selling t-shirts on the floor. And so I bought one of those and I actually wear this t-shirt a lot. So I'm gonna keep it. This is my Lana Del Rey t-shirt. This is the Take My Hand Five Sauce t-shirt. Again, like I don't really wear this shirt, but I have an emotional attachment to band t-shirts and I feel like in the past I've gotten rid of band t-shirts and then regretted it so I will keep it. This is my Harry Styles 2022 tour t-shirt. I bought it to buy it and I haven't really worn I think I've worn it twice but I'll keep it. This is my Mirrorball t-shirt that I made to wear to the Eras tour and I like it so I'll keep it. This is not going well. <laughs> and then this is my Taylor Swift eras tour t-shirt which is very very soft and lovely so i'll obviously keep that i don't have many of these and i wouldn't say this is my absolute favorite but until i find a replacement for this i will keep it this is a purple tank top i don't know how i feel about this i'm gonna put it in the maybe pile i actually quite like this but i don't really wear it that often it's maybe not the season two but it is like it's quite lightweight it's mesh it's long sleeve so i feel like maybe this is more of like a spring and fall item so I will probably keep it. This is a plaid t-shirt. I don't wear this, but it's my boyfriend's. So I feel like I need to keep it. I thrifted this top and it's just like mesh. It is quite cute, but I don't really wear it that often anymore. I feel like I should. Is this still cool? I don't know. Again, it's like not really the seat. Like I wouldn't wear this in the summer. So it's hard to, to say if I would reach for this in, in like the fall. I think I'm going to put it with that other long sleeve. This is just like a basic blue button up. I think I'm going to keep this because it's like the only button up I have and I do like it. This is a little top. Looking at it in the viewfinder actually, it looks like there's faces on it, which I actually did not realize. That's kind of weird. I do really like this top though. It's very lightweight and um, like slinky material. It's just from Topshop. 
but I think I'll keep that. This vest from Primark that I bought because it wasn't really my vibe and I thought I was gonna branch out and I think, well, I haven't worn it since I bought it. So I feel like I should just get rid of it because it's not that, it's not my vibe. Like I just, I don't reach for it. It's like an off the shoulder gray long sleeve that has these bows on it. I think this is cute, but again, it's like not the the season for it. This is like a cherry print and it's reversible bandeau top. So I'll keep that for summer. And then this is just like a black, it's got this like glittery kind of thread to it. And I feel like this is a nice little basic for summer. I'm gonna get rid of this black tank top because it looks really tatty and gross actually, so I need to just get a replacement for it. The bodysuits I have are really nice, but the straps are too long and they're not adjustable, so I've like tied them in little bows at the top, which just like isn't cute. I need an adjustable strap. Um, so again, I'm gonna keep this with this one and then hopefully find replacements for them. This was a purchase I made on Vinted and I actually haven't worn it yet because there hasn't really been an occasion, but it's this like pleather halter top which is kind of cool and I'm gonna keep it because I haven't worn it yet but I want to. This is the like viral, at least I think it was maybe a couple years ago, Zara bodysuit. I wear it a lot but it is like a bit, it's on its way out I think. Just um, it looks a little worse for wear but again I think I'm gonna keep it and then find a replacement and get rid of it. This is just a plain black t-shirt which I will keep. This is a Wallows band tee. I think it's really cute. I quite like it. This is a long sleeve flared sleeve black top that has these little embroidered flowers on it. Again, not the season, but I do really like this top, so I am gonna keep it. This is like a mesh top that I bought from Primark and I don't like it, so I'm gonna toss that. This is what I mean by like having an attachment to things. This is like a wrap top but it's like a fake wrap top and it's got this little like ruffle along the bottom and it's long sleeve and it's got stars on it which is cute i wore this on my first date <laughs> with my boyfriend and i feel like i don't think i've worn it since then maybe once but i also feel like i can't get rid of it because it like holds the memory which is stupid really but maybe it's something that i would wear again i just don't reach for it i have to keep it <laughs> oversized linen shirt i don't really reach for it i'm gonna put it in the maybe pile because i think i remember it being maybe like too oversized or just like not the right fit maybe too long or something so i'm gonna put it in the maybe pile and we'll try it on later and decide these are little h&m sweaters i wore the pink one to the harry styles concert i think i'm gonna keep the white one and get rid of the pink one this <laughs> this thing should go this is a zara sweater i hunted high and low for this because i saw allegra shaw wear it a couple years ago with with like little shorts and loafers and I was like oh my god I love that and I ended up wearing the same I'll put a picture here and I really really like it but this is one of the worst quality Zara items I own the knit is just like absolutely falling apart we've got these huge strings along the top like you just pull on it and it unravels so this has had its moment in my closet and I'm gonna get rid of it which is quite sad because I do like it this was a recent purchase actually from Primark again like lots of little basics and stuff from Primark which I don't necessarily love but the price point is good and it's nice to like test things out in your closet but this is like a loose knit really lightweight long sleeve top which I think could be really cute but I just don't know with what so I'm gonna hold on to it and see if I can style it. And then if not, I will get rid of it. This was a vintage purchase. I think it's quite cute. It's, it's a bit big, like it's really, really long and kind of oversized. So I feel like I need to find a cute way to style it with it being this oversized. So again, I'm gonna hold on to it, but if I can't style it, then I'll get rid of it. I love this sweater actually, I'm not getting rid of this. It's like a really soft, fluffy red cardigan and I just feel like this is super cute. That's everything on that side. I just don't have like a good variety of tops. Everything I own is a f***ing band t-shirt. Like what's my problem? On this side we have more bottoms and dresses and skirts and stuff. So this is a little pair of like pinstripe 
shorts that I got the other week from Asta, actually. They were really, really cheap and I thought I'd get them to like test out the trend and I do like them. I kind of want a pair of like plaid ones. This first pair is a pair of just like pinstripe linen H&M pants, which I've gotten recently and I really, really like. And then on the other side here, we have these like cream, they're really wide leg, but they're cropped pants from Wilfred, which I'm gonna get rid of. This is a green matching set. It's shorts and this little over shirt from Primark. It had its moment, out of sight, out of mind. I've worn these to absolute death. I need a new pair of them. This is a pair of linen black H&M shorts. I'm gonna keep them because I love them. There's also a pair of denim shorts here. I'm getting rid of them. I hate the way denim shorts look. I don't think they're flattering. I don't think they're cute. You won't catch me in denim shorts for the foreseeable. This is a little skirt that I bought off of Vinted. It's red corduroy. I really like it, so I'm gonna keep it. And here we have a denim mini skirt. I think this is cute. It's a bit, it's actually very big. It's too big on me, but with a belt, I think it'll be okay until I find something else. And then this is, actually this is quite cute and I do have a new hanger, so let me hang these separately. This is a black skirt actually from ASOS. I'm gonna keep this. Now we get into the dresses. I have quite a few dresses, but I actually don't think I like a lot of them, so I'm hoping I can get rid of some here. This is a little linen polka dot dress. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because I don't remember what it looks like on so I need to try it again this I'm over it I'm getting rid of it I don't love it I don't hate it but I don't love it I'm gonna hold on to it see if I can style it and if not get rid I actually quite like this dress I think it's cute I don't really wear it that often but maybe I should this is like a floral ruffled dress I think I'm gonna get rid of this actually. I wore it to a wedding was it last year or the year before and I haven't worn it since because I thought maybe I'd wear it again but I just haven't really found the time to and I don't love it so I'm gonna get rid of it. This is a black poofy everyday dress I'm gonna keep. I like the idea of this but I'm not sure if I like it on so I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. This is really cute. This is like an off the shoulder silky dress from H&M and I really like this around the holidays. This is nothing special. This is like an orange wrap dress that's floral. I actually don't really care for this dress that much, but my boyfriend always says that he likes me in this dress, so I feel like I need to keep it. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. Such a weird attachment to things. This is a very long maxi floral dress that has this really cute like lace lining on it. This is just from M&S and I really really like it so I'm gonna keep it. This is like a knit Abercrombie and Fitch dress that I wore on my one year anniversary with my boyfriend. Again like why do I keep doing this? I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. This is a red cord dress which I shrunk in the wash so I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile see if it still is length appropriate and if not I'll get rid of it. This is a purple cord dress. I actually will never wear this but I specifically bought this on Vinted for like four pounds to wear to my Olivia Rodrigo concert and then it got postponed and it hasn't been rescheduled so I'm actually gonna hold on to this for the Olivia Rodrigo concert and then once the Olivia Rodrigo concert has come and gone I will sell it. <laughs> I mean I think it makes me look a bit like a picnic table. I don't love this dress. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. I bought this leopard dress on Vinted and it's just, it's insanely booby. And I just don't know if I feel super comfortable in it. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile, try it on. This is a one shoulder ASOS dress that I bought on Vinted that has the tag on. And I actually think I'm gonna resell this. This is like a long maxi, it has pockets, which is quite nice. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. I have had this for years. Years, 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 years. And I love it. I just think it's like, it, it. I mean, it doesn't look like much. It's like got some shimmer to it. It's actually shorts. So it's like a little romper. I just need to find like some fun ways to accessorize this because I feel like it looks kind of plain. I have a picture here. I wore it to Leeds Fest. This is beautiful. I just don't know if it's very me. A green velvet, it's pants, like a, like a jumpsuit. It's really, really lovely, but I don't wear it that often because I'm not sure if I love it on me, so maybe pile. These are two dresses that I haven't worn yet, but I bought these as like wedding guest dresses, so I am very excited to wear these, hopefully this summer. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. It is so, so stunning and beautiful. It's short, it's got this beautiful velvet bow, it has these really dramatic sleeves, 
I actually cannot wait to wear this. And then this is very unlike me actually, but I really, really like it. It's long, it's silky, it's red, it's very low cut, it has a bow, and it's got this pink lace. And I just think this is giving Spain. This is giving Spanish wedding. So hopefully I get a chance to wear this this summer when I'm there. I need to get this professionally dry cleaned <laughs> because I have stained the hell out of this collar. It's actually quite gross. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's just like discolored there. But I want to see if I can get this dry cleaned because I absolutely love the fit of this blazer. It's really, really nice. This is my oversized leather jacket. I wear this to death. It is actually just from Primark. I bought it on a whim and I've definitely gotten my money's worth. This is a beautiful black blazer that still has the tag on. It is beautiful. Again, I just like don't really wear it. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. I'm gonna try it on, see how I feel in it, and then I might just get rid of it because I bought this because I didn't have a black blazer and I felt like that was something that I definitely needed in my closet. And it's been sitting in here for probably two years. I love this. This is a leather blazer. This is so cool from Topshop. This is my Burberry trench coat that I bought when I was visiting my friend Madison when she was living in Toronto. And I will never get rid of her. She is wonderful. Randomly in the back of my closet, if it's ever like absolutely chucking it down or if I ever go on some sort of like hike, which I don't do very often, but I feel like it's a good little number for that. It's like a North Face fleecy waterproof thing. I bought this on Depop when I was going through a depressive episode. It's like a Live Nation Harry Styles thing so i guess when he did his first tour he gifted these to like staff and stuff and someone was selling their dads or their friends or i don't know and i bought it on depot but it works <laughs> so and i don't wear it very often so i'm gonna leave that in the back of the closet i'm actually really impressed with how much stuff i got out of here i know it doesn't seem like a lot but the fact that all of the stuff hanging in here could fit on one side of this closet is absolutely insane look at that i've raised you up a little bit i hope that angle is okay so up on this shelf i have oh you can't really see jeans stacked here a couple crew necks and then on this side i have bags and like this little crate of crap these are on my bottoms these are like wide leg brown pants i'm gonna put them in the maybe pile these are some like wide leg blue slouchy casual jeans i feel like those are nice this is a pair of like cream pants i'm gonna put in the maybe pile i need to try them on this is a pair of white jeans i feel like this is a good basic to keep this is a lighter wash of the like slouchy baggy jeans so i'm gonna put those in the maybe see if i still like them this is a pair of standing jeans these are standing jeans only because they have a button fly and i hate that this is a pair of like gray jeans which i don't ever wear so i feel like i should just get rid of those and then this is a pair of black jeans which i feel like i should keep but i probably need a new pair because i think they're fading a little bit and then we've got crew necks i need a better way to organize these but these are crew necks that i have this is a justin bieber crew neck i like it it's very cozy and oversized so i'm gonna keep it we love her this is my hairy crew neck very cozy this is my pleasing crew neck this is cute and it's not it's oversized for sure but i do wear, wear this one out whereas the other ones i kind of wear at home maybe i'll hang all my crew necks i don't know we'll see i saved up so much money to buy this mr saturday hoodie it's just like a big thick gray hoodie it's such good quality like the material is so thick and it's got this design on the back which i really like so it's nice to have something that my boyfriend can borrow without him having to go out and a Justin Bieber crew neck. <laughs> so, although I'd love to see that. That's all for this side. And now it's time, it's time to look at bags. I'm not ready. I have had many a handbag in my life and I've gone through phases of buying designer handbags and like cheap and cheerful handbags. And so this is what I have left and I definitely no matter what I get rid of I need to make more of an effort to use all my bags but yeah I need to go through my handbags and my tote bag collection is out of hand so we need to sort that as well 
but let's just get into it. First up in the pile is my Swifty little bum bag. This was a gift from my boyfriend for my birthday one year. I don't wear it ever, but I wore it to the Taylor Swift concert, so I'm gonna keep it just as like a little memento, but I might just put it in storage. This is a little Gucci pouch thing. It has these little straps, so it can be a little bum bag. I don't use this. I bought it on Depop, I think. So I don't technically know if it's 100% real. It looks real, like the lining and stuff is quite nice. And there's a little Gucci tag with like serial numbers and stuff on it. So I do think it is real, but unless I can find a use for just this pouch, I don't think I'm gonna keep it. This is a Balenciaga bag that I bought secondhand. Most, if not all of my designer items, I bought secondhand because that was the only way I could afford them. But this is like a little red, crossbody bag. I've had this bag for years and years and years. It definitely has been through it. It has seen some stuff. It's got some like fraying on this zipper here that you can see. I just feel like this is a good like crossbody bag. It's a good size. It actually fits quite a bit even though it is so thin. So I do think I'm gonna keep this. And looking at it in the viewfinder, it looks really nice. So I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> what is this? I, <laughs> it's so funny. I bought this bag like, I think I was 17 when I bought this bag and I still have it, which is absolutely insane. It's nothing special, it's from River Island. I bought it on ASOS and I shipped it. It's just like a fluffy bag with a gold chain. I only ever have ever used it during the holidays because I feel like it's a fun holiday bag. I kind of want to keep it. It's kind of crazy. It seems so weird because it's just, it's just a nothing bag, it doesn't matter, but I feel like it holds some weird like memories and like, it just, it would feel like the end of an era if I got rid of this, which is quite stupid, but I think I'm gonna hold on to it. This is an amazing bag. This is just a half moon bag that I bought from and other stories when I went to Paris. I bought this in 2021, I think, and I have worn this bag to death. I think it's a great crossbody bag. You can shorten the strap and just like wear it on your shoulder. It's incredible. It's definitely seen seen some time it's fraying here but i love it it's got like a little front pouch here and then it fits a ton of stuff it fits an umbrella it fits sunglasses it fits portable charger it fits it fits everything so i'm gonna keep this this is one of the cheap and cheerful bags this is from primark um i quite like the color i liked the asymmetrical shape i think this is really really cool i just feel like it served its purpose and it could go to another loving home this is from winners in canada that i brought here it's just like a little slouchy bag it doesn't really fit much it's not great quality some of the beads are falling out so i'm just gonna get rid of it this is an incredible bag i love this bag this is from the, this brand i don't know how to say it um but i bought this on sale at tk maxx it's like vegan leather and it's just got this like really cool pattern on it and I absolutely love this shoulder bag. I think it's super, super cool. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. I don't know what is with me in buying like glittery items. It's just so weird. I don't use them ever. I just buy them for like one-off occasions and then I they just sit in my closet. So this is a, it's very beautiful. Like a green glittery bag that I bought at TK Maxx and it's got like a little chain to make it a crossbody bag. I bought it for a wedding, I think, as like a fun pop of color. I think it's really, really cute, and if I ever felt like I was going to use it again, I would keep it, but I feel like somebody else could probably love this in a way that I can't, so I'm going to get rid of it. This is a big, beautiful, white tote bag. This is from All Saints. This, again, was something that I bought secondhand when I went back home to Canada to visit. I use it sometimes to take to work because it fits my laptop in it. I do think it's a really, really nice bag. I just don't know if it's something that I'm going to keep. I think, I think I'm going to hold on to it. And if I find that I'm not using it, I'm gonna ask my mom if she wants it and I'll bring it back to her when I go home to visit. And if not, there's consignment stores in Canada that I'm like set up on and stuff. So I'll just like make my mom take it. This is a beautiful, big Kurt Geiger bag. I, I love this bag. I don't know, I really like this bag. The thing I liked about this was it didn't have like shiny gold hardware. It had like brushed gold. It does fit my laptop, which I think is great. It also fits my work laptop which I also think is great. So I feel like I should keep this. I saw this on ASOS. I loved it. 
I put it in my favorites and I left it for a few days and I was like, I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I was like, I need this bag. And I go to buy it out of stock. So I'm like, okay. So I add myself to be notified if it comes back in stock, you know, sometimes they do inventory checks or like returns or whatever. I, for a week, was getting notifications that it was coming back in stock and I would click it immediately and it would be gone. So I'd sign up again for notifications. I did that for a week, a week, a week. And I finally got it and I've used this bag like twice. So <laughs> the thing about this is like, and I think the thing about big bags in general and like tote bags, is unless you have enough stuff in it it is so uncomfortable to carry it needs the weight to like sit on your shoulder and i feel like since i moved here i started using small bags which means i started carrying less and less so i'm so used to that now so when i get a big bag out or a tote bag or something and i only have my tiny wallet and like my keys obviously that's not going to weigh this bag down so it slides off my shoulder constantly but I have worn it times when I've had like a book in here, an umbrella, uh, this or that, whatever. And it's great. And I do really, really like it. So I am gonna keep it. This is my beloved Saint Laurent bag. It looks like a little doctor bag. I bought this secondhand for such an incredible deal. I like squealed when I saw it. I had this bag on my vision board for years, years, years and years and years. I just think it's such a classic, nice shape. It does have a long strap. So you can wear it like slouchy like this. I was so, so unbelievably excited when I found it. And I just, I don't think it's something I'll ever get rid of. I just think whether I use it or not, it's such a special piece to me. I think I've had this since I was 16. I bought this at Winners. It is a Versace Sport backpack. It's got this like really cute, Oh, you can't really see it. Yeah, it's got this like star embossing on it. I think it's really, really cool. I definitely, this bag has had its moment to shine. I've used it to death. It's a great bag, but I don't use it anymore. I brought it here thinking, oh, I'll use that all the time. And I haven't touched it in the four years that I've lived here. So it's time to let go, which is so sad. It's like the end of an era, but I know someone else will love this bag as much as I did. And that brings us to our last handbag this is a tiny wristlet this is from Givenchy I also bought this secondhand again I loved this I wore it a bunch when I first got it I've had this for like six years seven years something like that but I'm just never gonna use it again so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna sell this that is my handbag collection I'm actually really proud of how productive I've been I don't think it's ever taken me this amount of time to go through my stuff I've been really fast maybe that's because I'm filming so maybe that's a good thing I was kind of dreading filming because I feel like this is gonna be a beast to edit because I've been filming for a really long time and there hasn't been that much like <laughs> dead noise so I don't know this might be a really long video but let's keep the momentum going and do my tote bags. Don't judge me. I know I have a lot of bags. I don't want to hear it, okay? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, okay? I know this is absolutely stupid and ridiculous. I do not need all of these. So let's get rid of some because this is embarrassing. It's embarrassing, I'm embarrassed. I'm just gonna pull them at random and we will chat about them. First and foremost, actually let's do this. This is a huge quilted free people bag that I saw on TikTok and stuff. It's really nice, like it fits a lot of stuff. The thing about this is like, if you ever wanna wear it crossbody, well actually, maybe it's not as bad as I thought kind of like digs into my neck a bit it's also got like a weird length like I feel like it's just like it's covering my boob so it's a bit like uncomfortable to wear that way what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold on to this and I'm gonna look at my bigger like overnight bags like compare and then maybe just keep this as like a weekend bag because it does fit quite a bit of stuff this is a little tote bag that has half the Taylor Swift cardigan and half the Harry Styles cardigan that my friend Madison made me so I'm obviously gonna keep this because it was a gift and it's lovely. This is a fine line tote that I will keep. I recently bought this. We've seen this on my channel before. It's got a big, <laughs> I don't know why I bought this. Like it is so obnoxious, but I do kind of love it. Is this cool? I'm gonna keep it and see if I can wear it. And if not, 
I'll sell it again. This is a Love On Tour tote bag. I'm actually gonna get rid of this. Um, I have a different one. I bought this off of the store before I had tickets to Love On Tour and I like the one that I bought at the actual concert better. So I'm gonna get rid of this. This is a tote bag that says, but daddy, I love him. I'm gonna get rid of it. So if anybody likes this and wants to buy it, it'll be on my Depop or my Vinted actually. This is a hot pink bag that has like orange on it. It's a Dua Lipa future nostalgia bag. I really, really like this tote bag. I bought it when I went to Sagat a couple years ago and I'm gonna keep it because I don't have anything that color and it's great. This is just a Jimmy Fairley tote bag that I got when I bought my glasses, but I don't need it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This is a tote bag with this cute little bulldog on it from a vintage store when I was in Italy when I was like 18, maybe 19. I'm, I wore it to death. It has seen many phases of my life, but I'm gonna get rid of it because I have other bags. This is really cute actually. This is like a mesh floral bag. And I feel like this is really, really pretty, but I just don't wear it. It's got these like cute little floral things stitched on. I really like it, but I'm gonna get rid of it because I'm strong and I can get rid of anything. A little tote bag that I bought at a random store when I was in Paris, again on that same trip when I went to Italy, I'm gonna get rid of this. I've worn it to death. I don't really reach for it anymore. This is a Glastonbury tote bag from 2022, which I didn't go, <laughs> um, but my boyfriend went and he brought back a tote bag. And he was like, oh, for you. This is a tote bag from Harry's first solo tour, which I'm gonna keep because I feel like it's quite rare. Nobody really has the like Rubik's Cube stuff. And I really love this bag, so I'm gonna keep it. This is the Love on Tour tote that I bought at the actual show. I like it. I have these little pins on it. I'm gonna keep it. I think it's a great, it's a really good size for like beach day. It's a great size for grocery shopping. It's massive. It's a great size for like chucking books into it if you ever go on a Waterstones little trip, you know? This is a Cody Co. Noelle Miller merch from when I saw them do their like stand-up thing with my cousin. And I freaking love this tote bag, so I will not be getting rid of this. I feel like it's so funny. This is my pleasing beach bag. Again, a lot of, a lot of Harry Styles merch, but I'm gonna keep this for beach days. It's like, it just hasn't really worn that well. Like, like what is that? I've, I've probably used this bag a handful of times, so I don't know why it's fraying, but I do like that it has a zip. <laughs> this five soft bag. Um, you know, actually, what I might do is I might get rid of my five sauce t-shirt and keep this five sauce tote bag because I like the tote bag and I wear the tote bag more than I wear the t-shirt. That is a good idea. That's a compromise, guys. Compromise is key. This is a beautiful floral tote bag from the Notting Hill bookshop in London. So I think I'm gonna keep this too, you guys. But that's it. But that's it. That is so much stuff. And also like, I have such a serious problem because I'll put a picture of it here, but I want this bag. I just think it's so cute. Okay, I took a little break. FaceTime with my boyfriend at Glastonbury. He's having an amazing time, a little sunburnt, but an amazing time. And I also talked to my mom for a bit and we talked through <laughs> some of the iffy things that I didn't know if I was gonna keep or get rid of and she helped me. And I got rid of a few other things as well. So that's really good, but it is 2.20. I'm starving. So I just popped out and I went to Things in bread, which I've never been to before. And I got a ginormous delicious sandwich and some crisps, jalapeno and dill, sounds delicious. And also this blood orange bevy. So I'm gonna eat and drink this while I watch Gossip Girl. And then we'll get back to it. But first, let me show you this incredible sandwich. How enormous, oh my gosh. Look how stunning that looks. Can you see? It actually looks insane. I'm so excited to devour some of this. Okay, so it's been a minute. I have opened my window because I've been very hot and bothered trying on everything that was in my maybe pile. And I'm only keeping two things, which I'm really proud of. So I decided to keep the beautiful black blazer that has the tag on still. My motivation is to wear this in the next little bit I know it's not really like blazers aren't really summer weather but maybe if we have a rainy day I'll try to wear a blazer I just think it's a really nice fit I haven't really found a need for it yet but keep it see if I wear it if not I'll get rid of it and then the other thing that I decided to keep was this long dress 
I put it on and I actually really like it and it has pockets. So I just think this will be nice to get me through summer. So I'm gonna keep this as well. This is the current state of my bed. I hope you can see that. I've got my bags and stuff in the back that I'm obviously keeping. And then this big pile here is all stuff that I'm getting rid of. I feel like this has been really successful. I'm actually quite surprised just how successful it has been. Yeah, I don't know. I'm normally never this ruthless, but I actually think filming it, which I anticipated was going to be more stressful, actually made me be a bit more cutthroat. And also talking to my mom and just like verifying a few things and just like chatting things through and being like, do I need this? Do I not need this? Like what's going on? Next steps for me is to sort and fold the pile of clothing that I'm getting rid of and kind of split between what I can sell, what just needs to go in the bin and anything to donate. I'm gonna put everything in piles, let my flatmate have a little nosy through, see if she wants anything. And then if not, I'm gonna take pictures of everything to put on Vinted and take them to a charity shop. That is gonna be my day tomorrow too. I feel really good about where we got to. I'm not gonna lie, I feel really, it's 3.30, that, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought. I think for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna clean, organize, put away all my empty hangers and maybe just take a look at all of the stuff that I'm keeping and plan out some cute little outfits. If I feel so inclined, I might go through my jewelry and accessories, but I'm not sure I have the stamina to do it today, so we'll see how far I get. I think that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope it was interesting to watch or entertaining by any means watching me go through my incessant tote bag collection, but we got rid of some and I'm proud. So I think it was a great first step and I'm sure with time, I'll go through it all again, but yeah. That is everything from me for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on my social medias. They'll be linked in the down bar. But yeah, that's everything. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.